Let's kick some butt. Welcome to Undercover. You gotta be tough to be on this team, partner. Welcome to Delta Force. Are you looking for me? Vamos, come a little closer. I am Lopez. Lopez, the narcotics king. Take a look around, tough guy. Nice, huh? I have the mansion, I have the money, I have the drugs, I have the power. So what makes you think a little cockroach like you can find me in my lap, huh? You know something stinks in South America? It's a stench of drugs. You can smell it right here in Sierra County. You know, I could use a deputy like you to help me sniff them out. I have my peoples in all your, 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 your big cities. Lopez, the cartel, dirtbags. But <laughs> dangerous dirtbags. Hey, they got guns, we got guns. And in Chicago, we shoot first, eat lunch later. I have armies of men along your borders. Welcome to the border. Call me Sam. Hope you're good with a gun. <laughs> it's really hot down here. And if you think you can find me in South America, cabron, you better think again. There's just two things the cartel understands. Guns and whips. Lately, I will admit, my adversaries have been making it a little hot for Lopez. But you know, they are saying my white powder is killing people. So, everybody dies sooner or later. And the cops, they want to play with Lopez. They want to play war. Listen, amigo, you will never find me in my lab. And if you want to play war, you better be ready to shoot up more than your big fat mouth. Because in war, there's only one winner. Only one of us will walk away alive.
Certainly the whole town's a buzzing about, huh? So you're gonna take on the four vicious outlaws? <laughs> well, you got guts. You're the new bounty hunter, right? Well, come on! Use that gun! Well, you big enough for the job? <laughs> That's so. Oh! Cause you got that brave look in your eye that says you ain't afraid of nothing. That's good. Cause there's plenty to be afraid of with them four villains. It's in the air. It's an ill wind that bodes no good. Mad Dog McCree and his band of cutthroats riding into town. Folks here plumb scared to death. Town's deserted. Even a tumbleweed doesn't dare blow across the streets today. As these hombres are mean, vicious, <laughs> quick to the gun. I'm sure we got a sheriff. What we need's a gunslinger. You handle yourself, Pilgrim. You, uh, spray a little lead in harm's way. That'd be tricky. But, uh, we'd be forever beholden to you. We're, we're simple folk. Oh, but, uh, the mayor's daughter, you lay your eyes on her, you see what I mean. She'd be worth taking a chance for. Hi. You're new around these parts. You heading into my daddy's town? He's the mayor. <laughs> well, if you are, you better take up some target practice first. There's a mean bunch that showed up, and I'm scared. Well, you best set your sights. I'll see you back in town. Howdy, stranger. We need your help. Mad Dog McCree's gang is taking over the town. The mayor and his daughter have been taken hostage out to Mad Dog's hideout. The sheriff, he's locked up in jail. We're going to have to get him out to help with the gang. Can you help? Howdy, stranger. If you're fixing to take on Mad Dog McCree and his outlaws, you need to do a few things. First, you'll need plenty of ammunition for that six-shooter. Reload it by putting it back in your holster. Second, when you see a cow skull or a spit tune, you'll want to shoot it because it'll sure help you. Third, when you see a road sign or a fork in the road, you'll want to shoot where you're heading. Finally, when you see this, once again, shoot where you're heading. Good luck, stranger. Tough enough to take on Mad Dog? Prove it to me. That man is the scourge of the territory. Why, to beat Mad Dog to the Spanish treasure, you'll have to take on renegade Indians. <laughs> Bandido, senor. And Mad Dog's sleazy crew. You think you can beat that crazy killer to the Spanish treasure? He's ready to dynamite the whole of Superstition Mountain to get at that gold. He's well armed, stranger. Bear that in mind. <laughs> Mad Dog's back. It ain't gonna be easy. 
You're gonna need a guy to get you to the treasure. Pick anyone. But Skin Bunny. You wanna play? <laughs> well, Let's go. She can get you into trouble, stranger. But she can lead you through the bad life. The professor. He's something of a gambling quack. His way's not always the straight way, but he's got an ace or two up his sleeve. <laughs> He'll get you to the treasure. Shooting beavers. Very dangerous. Now that Indian knows a shortcut through renegade country. You save his neck, he'll save yours. You think you're man enough to ride shotgun with me? Get up here. very lucky until I met Johnny Rock. And now someone's even taken him away from me. <sighs> the cops have closed the file on this one, and that's why I need you. I know it was one of the four diseases that let the hammer down on my man. Mumps is the name. What of it? Johnny Rock? He was a bum. Two-timer. A double cross. I don't know who shot him. <laughs> why don't you ask that grease monkey, uh, Pox? Johnny Rock, Johnny Rock, that's all I hear anymore. Yeah, he was uh, an acquaintance. He had a soft spot for horses and Hudson's. This year one was his. <laughs> I uh, acquired it for him. <laughs> and he placed a few bets in my book, but I didn't shoot him. I pack a pencil, not a piece. Somebody wasted a lot of bullets, and you'll have to too. Oh, there's lots of heat. Gangsters, explosions, ambushes, and a mystery to boot. Not to mention Murderer's Row. The bonanza for bad guys. And there's even a bad girl. Oh, oh no, not me. Lockjaw Lil. Oh, sweet talk Johnny Rock. Sure, he used to sing here. I was gonna make him a star. Why would I do him in? Do I look like I'm hurting? Maybe it was that weasel they call Measel. You know, me and Johnny had something in common. Dynamite. Him on stage and me with the dirty work. And then somebody plugged him. Hey, not me. I took care of him. Johnny Rock was good to me. I know this will be a risky case for you to take. But then I hear you're the best. Look, I can make sure it'll be worth your time.
Colonial Star One. We are under attack. Repeat, under attack. My ship has been overrun by the Black Brigade. Ah! Captain Talon is in control of the Star Splitter Cannon. They're beaming colonists aboard the Black Dragon as hostages until the cannon crystals are found. Situation bleak. Deflector shield destroyed. Can't hold out much longer. Please respond. You're the dream! <laughs> American Laser Game. A scourge of the galaxy. Captain Talon has invaded our fair homeland. The evil machinery that works his sinister mind has concocted a diabolical plan to exterminate us all! <laughs> Welcome aboard the Black Dragon! <laughs> Pay no attention to this lovely but pitiful creature. Any attempt to come to her aid will be met with certain extermination. You see the black hole? It was paralyzed to this speed. Now I will answer him with his own star splitter. This galaxy is mine! Who can stop this mad pirate? As it stands now, it looks as though this malevolent mystery and his armada of cutthroat pirates will succeed. His quest is my greatest, greatest creation. The Star Splitter Cannon. Talon needs now are the star crystals that were arming. Well, these crystals have been lost for years on different worlds throughout the solar system. We must find them before Talon does. The journey will be treacherous and fraught with danger. There are many foes. Not only will you have to repel the Black Brigade, a formidable and seemingly invincible force, there will also be mutant life forms, sorcerers and mystics with their own bag of tricks. They will do all in their power to keep you from the Star Crystals. And of course, there is the greatest nemesis of them all, Captain Talon. But I want you to know, I believe we can do it. You and me. I've got a star splitter here that will blast that robotic space pirate crew out of the stars forever. What I need is a quick hand and a keen eye. What I need.